Hey YouTube, Tuesday, February 12th. Looks like we've got a good breeze that's coming from the east for some reason. And a lot of snow falling. I don't know how much we're going to get. It's supposed to be 7 to 12 inches. Right now we've probably got 4 or 5. 4 I'm thinking. It's very like icy sort of snow. It doesn't pile up well. It rolls right off. Kind of flattish type of stuff. Hey guys, well, it's a little after lunch. I got my plowing done pretty much all over the place. Uh, we've been having this little bit of sleet or freezing rain. It's still kind of doing it now, but it's not really adding up to nothing. So the storm gave five inches of snow. And that was it. But it's supposed to get windy, and it is getting windy, which is really making it raw out there. Hope you guys are having a good one. Hey guys, so I guess that's pretty much what I needed. I wanted to, um, sometime in the future I'm going to put a great big 12 volt battery on the bottom there. And then I'll probably move that smaller one up on top. Um, but any this is a marine battery so you can keep charging it pretty much I think that that's better for this type of thing I'm not positive about that but I think it is so I put that on there um, so what I'll do is I'll put this trickle charge on two amps that's here and I'll keep it attached to the bigger battery maybe switch back and forth here and there um, got the battery tester hanging on there. I want to put some a couple of small tools on there that I would use, you know, a screwdriver to pry the clamps, battery clamps, um, probably a half inch wrench, I guess. And I think it's 5 16th for the battery. I'm not sure about that, but um, I want to have those type of things on there yet so that it's uh, something I that I have all that I need when I go out there. I also need to take two jumper cables and I'm going to hook them to the to this big battery and then I'll clip them around I'll wrap them around wherever I can probably around the handle but then clip them onto this uh, 1x4 here so that they're, they don't short out <coughs> and I was wondering about that because of moisture but you know it's not like I'm going to believe it's sitting out in the rain so it should be okay um, other than that this should be a good help for me I just needed also a place to put the batteries because I've had the batteries, these two batteries here, laying on my workbench for so long. You know, whenever you go to test something and you need 12 volts, I just hook up to a battery or a battery charger. It depends on what I'm doing. But this way here, I'll have things more in one place and I can easily take it to where I'm needing. I'm probably going to change the wheels that I have down in here sometime in the future. But for now, I'll just take the, the batteries and stuff off of there. I'm going to, you know, paint it. I don't even, really don't even have to paint it. That's red oak boards that are on there, which came off the wood miser. So, like I say, I don't even think I have to paint it. I don't know. Paint it just to make it look nice, I guess. But that should be just about everything I need. And I'm sure somebody will tell me something else I need for it, but... For right now, that's it. So, like I said, I need the cables yet. So I'm going to get probably 15 feet of some kind of good heavy cable. I was looking at some uh, jumper cables on uh, Napa's website. $126, you got to be freaking kidding me. For $126, I would expect like freaking clamps to be made out of gold. Of course, that's just me. But anyway... Nice wintry day, something to do inside. So that's what I was working on there. And uh, somebody had mentioned about bracing this. I think Steve from up north. So I did that. Another guy said about keeping it plugged in, which I'm going to do. So I should be in good shape with this thing. Um, yeah. So guys, it's just another project that's pretty much finished. Got to get those clamps, cables somewhere. I have a good set of cables in my truck, jumper cables. But I really don't want to cut the ends off of them just to fasten them to the battery. Of course, I wouldn't have to. I mean, I could clamp them on there. But it's better if they were bolted onto those bolts that are on there. 
I don't know if you can see that in the camera there, but you see there's two bolts on here besides the posts. I think that it would be <laughs> better to bolt them on. Yeah. Alright guys, have a good one. Bye. I need to take bullseye out for a little bit, and uh, I don't know if you can see see what's falling there. It's sort of you can hear it hitting your coat. It's not snow. It's more like freezing rain, or it's not sleet, but it's turning. It's like snow and freezing rain, or snow and I don't know. Maybe it is sleet mixed. But anyway, it's not adding up to really anything. Just being a nuisance.
Boy, that ice hurts your face when it hits you. like special effects bullseye it's cold outside you want a cookie huh you want your cookie hold on this is bullseye's favorite kind of cookie variety snaps give Alpo and Purina a plug it's really foggy in here <laughs>